Do you envy Jane Fonda, her uh, Vassar education? No. no. I don't envy anybody. Really? Uh, I think Maybe every that accounts for the, your uh, serenity or whatever it is. Uh, everyone is in their space at their own time. Uh, Careful, that's uh, S jargon. Well, I didn't go to S because I like to go to the bathroom when I need to. <laughs> and uh, they evidently don't let you get up and go. No. And so I didn't go there. Some but people feel you are in a bathroom while you're at the <laughs> sessions, but that's possibly. another thing. I don't know. I you know, I don't, don't want to get on that I subject. But uh, uh, what was it? Um, it beats hell out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we were no, I don't envy it. Envying no. someone. Uh, because uh, there's many people in the business who didn't get an education who envy the people who did, and they should I got an education. Oh, no, I, you know what I mean. I mean, who did, I know you did. You went to school and you yes. and even continued to in New York. But they, they feel that they aren't learned in, the, in some way, that they feel they have to go back and, and get. Uh, you can they educate yourself. a kind of liberal arts education, oh, well. perhaps. They say, well, I mean, I went through university, but I didn't learn anything. Well, I, I know a lot of people who, you know, went to terrific schools, <coughs> and they're really dumb. They don't have horse sense. They don't have the, exactly. the street sense, you know. Yeah. And so, and a lot of people who maybe did not graduate from college or even high school who, who are very intelligent and very smart, and all they need to do is crack the books and get the diploma, and then, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like uh, in The Wizard of Oz when they just handed him the uh, diploma, now you got your yeah. brain, you know, what is that? Because Groucho always envied people that he thought were better educated than he was and therefore superior, and where in fact they might have been technically better educated in oh. that they had the degree. Well, and so he on. was so intelligent. They hadn't come I'm near, surprised. couldn't come near Groucho and things he had read, his sensitivity, his ability to criticize things, his ability to, uh, I mean, in, in the true sense of critical. I, um, I hope he's at peace with that because yeah. envy is a um, big fat waste of, of um, energy that should be channeled into something else. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right now, what we, we could have a look at a bit of um, friendly fire. I, I, I hadn't, I hadn't I said anything to you. I don't think we have a clip of friendly fire. Oh, don't we? I, d I don't think so. Oh, I, I thought that was the bit of tape we have ready. No. What, I can do it for what you. What is the bit of tape that we have ready? <laughs> no. Well, let, let's just have a look at a piece of tape that we have ready. Uh, the oh. last I knew, we had a bit of friendly fire because I was going to talk to you about um, um, the moment when you learned that you're. Well, it's not blowing it for anyone now, is no. it? No. That you're. Uh, no, now that's not from friendly that fire. That scene from friendly fire was so <laughs> admirably worked into the script that I, I'd forgotten it. Tell me about that, although it explains itself in a way. It's uh, that's coming up. It's a television movie for CBS and it'll be on in the fall and the gentleman uh, is Keith Michelle. One of the best actors remember, around. You uh, would remember from uh, all the Henry VIII's that he did so brilliantly. Yes. And um, it's based on a novel by Laura Z. Hobson called The Tenth Month. Yeah. And um, Joan Tewksbury uh, did the screenplay and directed it. It's about a woman in her 40s who discovers she is pregnant after ending a relationship for a long time, uh, she decides to keep the baby, although uh, she decides to adopt it because of her uh, upbringing and so forth. She's embarrassed, A, at being caught, mm -hmm. uh, B, because she's not married, and in the meantime, now she's fallen in love with somebody else, and so it's all. Is any of it... F uh funny in the sense that people <clears throat> used to seeing it be funny? No, no. It's a, it's yeah. a love story. It, it has a lot of comment uh, about uh, morality, uh, about uh, the abortion issue mm -hmm. today. Um, she's caught and uh, how she finally does mature and grow up, even though you would think a woman in her 40s would be mature and grown up. Yeah. She is not. Will you get any hate mail on this one? I have no idea. Do you ever get hate mail? Do, they, do uh, they keep it from you? Yes, I get, I get mail uh, from people. I mean, there I are people who are going, well, I don't love it. Why would you love it? Because it just makes me roll over and over on the floor laughing. When the fact that you went You're out there and thought, you were, and thought you were, yeah, I know. But the fact that you set out in some sense to entertain and that oh. somebody finds you so despicable that they would like to do vile things to you uh, <laughs> always amuses me in a way. 
<laughs> I love that. I really like it. <laughs> no, I, I will always answer mail if people will send me their, uh, you know, if, if they're disgruntled with something yeah. and if they can spell correctly and uh, if they tell me exactly what disturbed them about it in yeah. an intelligent way and leave me their name and address, I will write them back. You answer the disgruntled people. Uh, surely, the, yes. what, what about the gruntled people? The gruntled you people, you mean who like something? Yeah, the ones who are uh, gruntled. I, always, I like to answer them too because they're mm -hmm. really nice to hear from. You know, But mm -hmm. mostly the disgruntled are the ones who seem to want to sit down and write. Yeah. Uh, you they know, maybe they don't have anything names. else to do. They leave their names off, then you just, I don't even read anything if I don't get a name on it. I don't, I don't bother. Either. Often it's that they've forgotten how to spell their name, I think. Quite possibly, I don't know, or they but, just don't uh, want to be found out or whatever it yeah. is, and uh, I don't put any uh, credence in that kind of mail at all. If, if, they're not, if they are not willing to sign what they've written, then I don't think I should read it. I have an anonymous hate pal in Waco, Texas. Oh, nice. Do you keep in touch? Well, I can't, I can't, I could only communicate this way because this way, yeah. the person does not, it never signs. And uh, yet you can't communicate the way you really want to. Oh, I could. Well, yeah, this is PBS. <laughs> on my, on <laughs> yeah. my last day, uh -huh, I guess. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>